All right, guys, so just recently, Microsoft announced their intent to completely retire all of their MCSA, MCSD, and MCSC certifications. And I thought I would drop in and talk to you guys a little bit about that. So first of all, let's go over to my screen and take a look at the actual article itself. So as you can see, this was announced over in uh, February the 28th, um, right at the end of the month that, uh, like I said, Microsoft is, thinking, is going to be doing away with the MCSA and MCSE, uh, as well as the MCSD. And first of all, what are my thoughts on that? Um, of course, these certifications have been pretty much a staple of Microsoft certifications for years and years and years. I remember back in 2013, when I was first going through my CCENT, CCNA journey, I had considered also getting an MCSA or even an MCSC to go along with my Cisco certifications. As some of you guys know, I went along a different path and decided to dive very deep into routing and switching and networking technologies. But um, I don't think going for an MCSA or an MCSC would have been a bad idea at all. And I think a lot of people were kind of taken aback by the announcement that they're doing away with it um, because they are essentially doing that in the full sense of the term. It's not like they are refreshing or creating something to replace the MCSA or the MCSE, but they're just completely getting rid of that completely. So, so the question that I hear a lot now is, well, what's going to happen to all of these certifications? Well, you still have, if you're somebody that's currently studying for the MCSA or the MCSC or any one of these certifications, you still have till June the 30th to test. So we just finished, I mean, seriously, we just finished getting out of the Cisco Certpocalypse as uh, Network Chuck coined it, uh, or I believe he coined it. And now we're just about to step into another Certpocalypse with Microsoft here. Uh, we just got out of one, and now we're stepping right into another one. And for those people that are already studying, I would recommend for you guys to keep studying because those certifications will still be good if you pass them after June the 30th. And I believe they will still be good for another two years after. So if you look further into the article, um, you'll see here, you'll, you'll be able to get a lot of that information. June, like I mentioned, June 30th, 2020. All exams will no longer be available. So what this means um, is that there won't be an actual server administrator. So there used to be um, 2008, 2012, 2016 Windows Server Administrator. Microsoft is just completely doing away with that. Everything is going to the cloud, right? So we have uh, Azure, which is really the, the way of the world moving forward from Microsoft's perspective. Everything is moving to the cloud. I have a lot of customers that are doing the same. And now their certification track is going to be what they're calling role-based certification tracks. So if you are a developer, administrator, solutions architect, or functional consultant, um, you'll be able to collect, um, or not collect, but uh, dive into here and find the certifications based on the role. So for instance, I clicked administrator and this gives us the administrator certification. So here is the Azure Administrator Associates and I believe that is this one here, the AZ-103. Um, I pulled up the CBT Nuggets website because CBT Nuggets is pretty much where I started in terms of my Cisco certifications uh, with Jeremy Chara. Uh, now I believe Network Chuck here is the uh, the instructor for this course, as well as the instructor for the Azure Fundamentals course, which is AZ900. Um, if you guys are looking at just the baseline fundamental certifications, um, you can get that through the AZ103, uh, and then as you move into the um, uh, I'm sorry, the fundamentals are the AZ900, and once you move into the actual administration of Azure, that would be the AZ-103 exam. So if you're looking for good training, um, I would recommend for you guys to go ahead and get ahead of it and start. If you're looking at server certifications at the moment, 
I don't think it would hurt to go after an Azure certification as well. That's definitely, like I mentioned, the way of the world and the way of the future. And obviously, if Microsoft is putting their foot down on the certification process and just completely going towards cloud-based Azure solutions, the writing's on the wall. That's where companies want us to go. That's where the world is going, technology is going. So I would recommend for you to follow suit. So if you get your certification, as I mentioned earlier, I believe it's still active. Let's say you passed it right before the June 30th uh, deadline. You will still have that certification until the point where you need to uh, renew it, at which point you won't be able to. So I believe for Microsoft, that's either two or three years. But just wanted to chime in here and give you guys the news if you hadn't heard it already. What are your thoughts on that? Leave it in the comment section below. If you found this interesting, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.